so let's go. It was a bunch of uh, effects for guitar made just with JavaScript. And today I want to show how you can make this JavaScript e effects with web audio and plug it for your guitar and update it. Before we start, a few words about myself. I'm a lead JavaScript engineer at EPUM Systems. It's a big outsourcing company. I'm working for a big client, which name I couldn't speak publicly because of NDA. I'm organizing an Angular Wroclaw meetup and I'm part of Angular community. It is very friendly and open for everyone. I'm living in Poland right now in Wroclaw and I love music and decided to combine JavaScript and music, all my hobbies. Uh, actually, you can find me on Twitter. I have a blog. And yeah, just to show how far <laughs> <laughs> I arrived, yeah. This is a beautiful city. I'm not a Pole, I am Ukrainian, but I'm living in Poland. So yeah, what is web audio? It's just API that use a unidirected graph that contains audio nodes some small primitives that allows you to process or create your music in a browser. What is a graph? Graph is a bunch of nodes and edges uh, that connect in these nodes. And if we are speaking if about unidirected graph, it's the graph that have uh, connections between nodes that has direction only to one side, from point one to point B. Uh, and basically, if we're speaking about uh, web audio graph, we have some input node and output node. Everything between these nodes we, uh, could be uh, gain nodes, oscillators, a bunch of them, primitives that you can connect and modify your audio source. Um, if we are speaking about guitar stack, we have guitar, which is our input and output some speakers or amplifiers or cabinets. And between them, we have these stomp boxes, guitar effects, distortions, overdrives, reverbs, whatever. So it looks like pretty close. So what if we just replace our stomp boxes with JavaScript and it is possible? So first of all, we need to somehow connect guitar to your laptop to browser uh, you need some graphic car, uh, audio card sorry and you need create audio context it's the main point for web audio api then you get in media device and requesting uh, audio from the user use passing the audio through then using the context you create media stream source which is your uh, guitar or another instrument line in or microphone. That's all good, but it's not working very well with instruments. It won't be that easy. <laughs> because by default, browsers apply a bunch of modifications to audio from microphone. They uh, apply noise uh, gate uh, cancellation, uh, echo, noise suspension, adding some latency, and so on. To avoid that, you need to switch off all these features using an object with options. So you just specify, and you get the clean instrument sound out of a box. After that, you need to connect your uh, stream to some destination, and audio context has default destination, which is usually your speakers or whatever you specify in system level. So after that, you just call and connect to destination and you get the clean sound. So, 
I'll switch off and I have simple connection button that wraps all the code and I get in just clean sound from the guitar without any modifications. What next? We could uh, control the volume of our instrument programmatically. How to do it? For that we have some gain control node. Uh, we have, our sound could be uh, visually represented as a sinusoid function. So if we want to make the less volume, less gain for our sound, we just multi divide it for uh, some, or mu multiply it for values at less than one. If we want to get it louder, we just multiply it by two, by three, and we get more volume. So gain node. We can create gain node from our context and be assigning the gain value, which, is, which should be from zero to one if we want to control the volume. Uh, one means no sound, everything muted, and uh, one means uh, that we get a normal uh, full volume. And again, as any node in this graph, we need to connect it. So we have a source, we connect this gain wall uh, node and connect it to destination. And we are allowed to control the volume. So let's make it louder. And if I go down to half, it becomes more and more and turn off. So volume is fun, but we need to apply some effects. And the most commonly used effect in um, rock music is distortion. Actually, it's not one effect, it's a group of effects called uh, overdrive, distortion, foos, and others. So uh, these are the group of effects that shape in your sound wave in a way that it become more flattened how it looks like. Uh, so in the past, uh, how it was invented, this uh, effect. In the past, uh, people tried to uh, break the amplifiers to get this distorted sound. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it won't play. Oh, it's working. Now. <laughs> Okay, so they broke the amplifiers and they get this other sound. Uh, after that, they invented transition way to uh, to use transition transistors to change this sound and apply. So again, we have sine wave, and we apply some function and make it more flatten. And difference between distortion, overdrive, and fuzz actually in these functions. So distortion makes it more flattened. Overdrive is more smooth, that gives you more warm sound. And fuzz is really common to uh, uh, digital sound, so it's more flattened than distortion. And let's try it out. So let's start with some overdrive. Uh, how to do it in web audio? We have special node, web shaper node. We create in this kind of node and we apply a function to shape our uh, wave curve. So this function should produce an array, float 32-bit uh, array, uh, that will be interpolated on your sine wave by web audio API. And I am applying this function, and it gets shape of distortion. It distorted. So <coughs> in this demo, it's wrapped all this game. We can control it. We can include more amount. 
We can give it more and more. We can use some distortion as well. It sounds more harder, more give us more gain and sustain. And we can reduce the amount of distortion. It'll become more lighter. We can control level and with gain notes. And getting more and more noise. Uh, another thing we want to control, tone. So how to do it? We have special filters, low pass filter in this case, that uh, cuts out all the frequencies above the, our frequencies that we specify for this filter. So it's filtering out all the frequencies upper the, our bound. And in web audio we have special node, big watt filter node, and we specify the type, low pass filter. And frequency value is our tone control. So it could be from the lower one, 350, to the upper high frequencies. And how it applied to the audio itself. So we have this distortion. And we have tone control. If we lower it down, it gives us the low sound, like muted one. We're going upper. And high frequencies up. Again, like muted sound, a high sound. Another thing that we want to emulate some cabinets that um, made our sound more natural, like it's sound from the real guitar stack. To do so, we can use impulse responses. Impulse response is a short sample recorded directly for, from the real device, real amplifier, using microphones, condensator microphones, and so on. So it's kind of static because you uh, record it at some point with some particular settings of your amplifier. And using this short sample, you apply it to your input, your guitar sound, uh, using fast Fourier transformations. Uh, it applies the frequency uh, impulse signal to your input and it sounds like it's come from the real amplifier. To do that, we're using convolver node. Creating convolver node and fetching some impulse sound. Then we uh, transform it to array buffer and the audio context has special function to decode this data. Then this decode data could be assigned to Cavolver uh, buffer node. And we will simulate the cabinets. So I have a bunch of cabinets. We can listen to the clean sound. Yes, and now we're applying this convolver node and simulating cabinet. It changed completely our sound. We can change the samples, I have a bunch of them, so it simulates different cabinets. Some are warmer, darker, 
legs this one or like this one heavy and we can use it with distortion And the difference is digital one and with cabinet it's warm like it's real. Next one, equalization. We have three band equalizer, yeah, bass, middle and treble. So bass is everything below 500 Hz. Middle is 1K and 500 Gz between them, and treble is more than 3000. So again, we can use big watt filter nodes to uh, in, in, increase the gain for particular uh, band of uh, frequencies. So we can use low shelf filter that increases the gain for everything below the uh, frequency we provide. So everything bef below 500 Gz will be increased with this control. Middle now we're using picking type of filter which takes everything between the middle frequency and increase its gain. And the last one for treble we're using high shelf filter that uh, increases the gain everything upper of the provided frequency. So we're creating them and we can use it right on our cabinet. For example, I can increase middle. Or treble. And we can shape our sound and make it completely different without bass, for example. It sounds like a banjo or something. Or we can remove the middle frequencies and it will be really funny sound. And this all easy to do with web audio. The last one that I want to show, reverberation. Uh, on every real music recording, they apply some reverberation. Reverberation is emulation of some uh, space, like hall, concert hall, some small room, uh, open space, uh, field, whatever. And to do that, we again can use Convolver node. But uh, this time we're using impulse responses recorded from some uh, rooms. Usually just kind of clap or something like, and they reckon this sound and then using fast Fourier transformation, they applying it to your input. So to implement this reverb effect, we can uh, use few nodes, splitter node that splits your uh, input into few one and we can proce process some uh, parts of our uh, the, uh, our channels differently, so like in parallel. We can add some delay note to sound it more natural because in real room when you play on a guitar it takes some time to come back to you from the space and the bigger room is the longer time it takes to come back to you. To control the tone we use again big quad filter note Convolver node to load our impulse response from the room and gain node to control the level of dry and wet tone. Dry is a, our original sound and wet what we get after the convolver. Then we merge back these channels and getting the uh, resulting output. So 
we're creating all these nodes like channel splitter and then we connect them so we connect splitter with delay delay with stone tone convolver wet and to merger and then our clean dry tone getting uh, connected in parallel with splitter and merger so let's check it out um, let's clean it okay so we have clean sound with our cabinet and we apply the reverberation let's increase this, the volume we can increase the delay Now we are applying impulse response from some big hole. And it sounds really good for solos, for example. We can emulate some smaller spaces like rooms. New modeling. Control the tone. We can simulate some space. or spring classic one let's make a small recap what we learned from all these things so we can connect create audio context can connect our uh, uh, stream source to it and to destination. We can use gain node to control the volume of our input and output. We can create distortion effect using wave sharper node and apply transformation functions. The, the type of our function makes our distortion sound like overdrive, like distortion of fuse. We can use big watt filters to create tone control to lower the sound down or make it sound more high. We can uh, simulate cabinets using Convolver node and impulse response recording uh, and apply it to our source. We can create reverb, splitting our channels and applying impulse response from uh, some space rooms and merge them back with some delay. So, so that's it. Uh, just try it out and rock. <laughs> <laughs> All the code is available on GitHub. You can check it out. Uh, it's a normal Angular app. Uh, I tried to make it uh, with a good architecture like. So it uh, has some special classes for distortions, some helper functions. Uh, everything wrapped in services like fetching convolvers and applying them you can play with it try it yourself extend whatever and yeah just try it out and i will be around here if you want i can plug everything you can try it yourself all these effects play them uh, so yeah thank you very much for listening <laughs>